<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy HSHD and today we have a little bit of PDW nuclear here on the map loop time 2025. I think I go 118 or 110 or 6, something of that sort. Uh, the uh, score will be in the title of the video and in the description. So make sure you done this video to give it a thumbs up and comment and then just press, that's it. But anyways, this video is a submission for the clan We the OP. That stands for We. The overpowered. Um, it's a clan started by Benny Central and Samus and a couple other uh, good YouTubers. Um, but that's not what I want to talk about today. Today's topic is the PlayStation 4 versus the Xbox One. So, and I'm not just so sure if some of you guys liked my last video, which the link will be in the description below. Uh, I showed you guys the new PlayStation 4 in action trailer. Um, on me, on me. To me, that alone is enough for me to, uh, as in why I would buy the PS4 for the Xbox One. I know that recently Xbox One, Microsoft, they um, reversed their decision on always having a um, stable online 24 hour connection, having to sign it every 24 hours, and not being able to um, play use games. But aside from that, um, Taking that away from Microsoft, you still have to look through, at it through the Sony's perspective. They um, had that from the beginning, and not even just that. If you watch the, uh, I don't know why I'm rubbing, but if you watch my last video, you can see within the share button and then downloading games from your phone straight to your PS4, and down, not even downloading games in the background. But if you are in the middle of playing the game and you buy something from the PS4 store, you can transition through games like that without having to go back to the main menu. I'm not necessarily sure or downing Xbox One for being able or not being able to do that, but that by itself is one reason for me why I would pick the PS4. And also, I don't know if you guys know that I've always been a Sony fan. I've had every PlayStation, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, PSP. I've just been Sonyed out. Uh, don't get me wrong, I had a few Microsoft. Um, console I had the original Xbox I still have it I have at least two of those and I have the uh, old arcade white matted Xbox and I have the Xbox Elite that came with like uh, Xbox Sports with the Connect and the Adventure and just dance and stuff like that so yeah don't get me wrong I, I like Microsoft but Sony will forever and always be the premium gaming for me but on to the next topic I'm not sure if I have any sports fans on my channel, but I know at least half of you had to have seen Game 7 of the NBA Finals. I was going for the Heat. No, I'm not a bandwagon. I've always been a LeBron James fan from day one, back when he was in college. I used to watch him then, even though I was young way back then. Because like now I'm 14, and if you go back to the year he was in college, and then start from 1998 to that, that's just how long I've been a LeBron James fan. Even though he was with the Cavs, still never doubted him out. Always been the number one player in my opinion. And always will be the best um, player right now. Um, no, he's not better than Jordan in my opinion. This, no, I'm not indicating that. No, not whatsoever. I'm saying like he, in the game right now, he's been, sorry for slowing down. I was looking at the game right now, but... Yeah, he's the best in the league right now. Over Kobe. Any day of the week. Kobe, Kobe's washed up. He, he's done. I don't care if I get hate for that. I don't like Kobe. Kobe's just a crap baby. He, he requires too much attention. But back to the, uh, what I was talking about. Uh, before game 7, that was game 6. And as you can see, LeBron lost his head man. And to me, I think that meant something. Yeah, as you see, when he had his headband on, he wasn't doing as good. But you see, as soon as he lost that headband, you see how many points he scored? I think he scored 10 points straight. I'm not necessarily sure. I don't remember. But, yeah, that was that. So, to me, I think it was a transition between LeBron wearing a headband and losing it. So, make sure you guys next season look out for that. 
and basically game seven. That was too close to the game. I had a bet right now that with my brother's girlfriend. She would have to buy me um, the new Deadpool game that I think is coming out on the 28th. And if she would, to win, I'd have to pay her way into the movies because we, her and my brother went to go see Monsters University yesterday. Um, not yesterday, two days ago, Friday. Um, so I had to pay her way to that. But luckily for me, I didn't have to do that at all. So you see, my boys, LeBron James, and the Miami Heat came back and won game seven. As you can see how the Spurs they were trying to stay in the game, which they were. They had the lead, but then Mario Chalmers, going into the half, made the half court shot. Did not half court shot, but the last minute buzzer beater. As you see, it banked right off the glass, right on there. There was no other shot that he could have better than that. Because if you were to listen to Clark Kellogg and. What well, not Clark Kellogg, but whoever one of us announces work, if you were to listen to that, he even said it himself that um, he had more turnovers than assists, which to me, ugh, that is, that's just horrible. And yeah, that's the end of that topic. What I wanted to talk about next is should you start YouTube? I get that question a lot in my messages. I would tell you guys. Uh, what I was talking about, as you can see on the top right, I got the new career. But yeah, I would screenshot my inbox, but I can't right now. Yeah. is what I was talking about. Should you start YouTube? To me, if you, it's all on depends on if you want to, because right now the YouTube community is hard enough as it is to grow as a channel. Uh, even though I'm not big myself right now. Um, I got 200 some 200 plus subscribers and I'm all the way to 300. Even though it doesn't seem like a lot, that seems like a lot to me just because I'm a small channel. But I'm not necessarily sure on how to answer that question. So I say if you want to because it's hard to get an active fan base. It's hard to get your content seen by uh, other people. Like me, when I started back in 2011, that was even a struggle for me just to get started because I started off as a Nintendo channel. But even though I grew in for getting up card game plays, even though I've been a card fan for the longest, I just never put up game plays on my channel. But once I started to do that, that helped my channel a lot. And that helped me get some of the active fan base that I have now. If you don't believe me, you can check my other videos, my other card videos. You know, I don't have many of them, but that helped my channel get out there a lot. And to me, if you think about it, it gets your channel in the recommended section, section, which means if you have a good thumbnail or have a good title, most people will click on it just to see what your content's about. So, it all depends because this you don't have to be in it for money. You can be in it just for, um, say, a hobby. And it's not just gonna go as you plan or think it's gonna go just because you upload good gameplay. That's just not the full shebang of YouTube. But that's basically all I gotta say for right now. I'll finish this conversation in another video. Because my next video that I upload will be a Call of Duty Q&A. Well, I wouldn't say my next video, but my next Call of Duty video will be a Q&A. So, make sure you guys come back for that. I'll go on Twitter and say, ask me questions for Q&A. Um, but, for right now, just go on Twitter, hashtag, ask HSHD. If you're going to ask me a question, and get an answer to my next Call of Duty video. But, like I said, guys, that's all for now. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later.